with this class, especially with the girls, most of them are from preschool. They've been here since preschool, so they know us very well. Um, we're very comfortable. We're kind of like their second family, I guess you could say. Um, I feel like the school as a whole is like literally the village that, you know, raises the child. And I think, you know, many parents have said that too in the past. Just reflecting on the senior class this year, in particular, the boys who um, met most of them who I've seen come from being little boys all the way up through high school. This is something that makes our school very unique. I have often said that it is a weakness and a strength, but I think the strength outweighs the weakness, meaning that if these students grow up together and they feel the bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood, um, as we hope they do, is something that will stick with them for life. And that, you know, as all of us, we can remember our school days. We can remember things like who did what and what experience we had. And a lot of those experiences shape our view. My style of teaching is get to know the kids and also be real with them. It's okay to share stuff about yourself because it makes you seem like a person, right? And that, that helps, you know, I think the reason that Rasul was so amazing at spreading the message was because he knew people, he cared about them, he let them know that he cared about them. And so as a teacher and as a coach, I think it's been really important for me to do that. To see these young men and women now move on to the next stage in life is very gratifying. And we have great hopes and aspirations for them. We hope that the foundation or the seeds that have been planted here is something that will carry them through. I feel like this year especially, this class has a very special role to play. Graduating during this brutal genocide that's going on in Gaza. So in light of that, I pray that they open their minds to what is going on in the world around them, that they are not blinded by falsehood, that they are the change we need so badly. And I pray that Allah protects them, that he also uses them to establish truth and justice and replace those who could not. And our students have been given the foundation of the Quran and Sunnah. And so they must now build upon that a fortress from where they can become leaders for our Ummah, hopefully one day uniting them under the banner of La ilaha illallah.